Good morning, everybody. Say good morning. Good morning. Welcome. I don't know why. I'm just like, well, one, I look like shit, but um, I just woke up. It's like seven in the morning. I just felt the urge to like, vlog today. So that's what we're gonna do. And right now we're getting Starbucks, right? Right. So right now we're getting Starbucks. It actually rained last night, like stormed last night, so. It's like muggy out. <laughs> Bag is secured. Um, I just get a grande Americano, which is just espresso and water. I'm pretty sure. Um, just a grande Americano, and then I put my own cream in when I get home. So I'm gonna add some hazelnut creamer to this. I am a great value girly, like through and through, if the label's good anyways. And I always grab these. They're the great value coffee creamers because the labels are pretty good. Like only 30 calories um five grams of carbs and five grams of added sugar so and i only use like a splash of this so yeah i love these this one's really good it's just the hazelnut i'm just gonna pop her off with some of this i am also still in my sleep shirt so you can't really see but i am bumping Baby girl number two is on the way. She's a Bruin. Um, she'll be here in October, so surprise. Um, I haven't really talked about it at all on YouTube because, I don't know, I haven't talked about much of anything on YouTube lately, but um, if you follow me on TikTok, which I will link it below, I do talk about my pregnancy there. I want to film a first trimester kind of like update because I'm well into my second trimester now, but like I want to like film them when they're over, you know, like so I can be like my first trimester was this way, my, you know, whatever. And then I'll do that with every other trimester, even the fourth when the baby's here. So yeah, we are having a little girl, another little girl. Today is October 5th. She will arrive via scheduled C-section, hopefully <laughs> again. If you've watched my other videos um, my son was a week late and then my daughter was two weeks early so my babies just like to come when they like to come i mean i don't re i don't really know so i hope that she will come right on time she's measuring right on time like within like a couple days of my due date so that's really good news i am almost 26 weeks so we're nearing the end of the second trimester so um i I'm definitely gonna film that first trimester update for you guys and then I will film a second trimester update for you guys as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get this done. You know, I'm very bad at, I don't know, just sticking with it. I don't know why, um, I've been tired. <laughs> a lot has been going on. Um, we are moving back to Oregon. We, if you didn't know, we currently live in Scottsdale, Arizona, but we are moving back to Oregon in five short weeks. And then shortly after that, I'll be giving birth. And then, yeah, life is just crazy. Very, very crazy, but um, everything's going really well. And we're excited to be home with like friends and family and stuff. So that'll be good. So now I'm gonna make Freya some breakfast. Um, she usually eats some of Riley's breakfast in the morning when he gets up for work. So it gives me a little bit of time, like she's not starving, you know? So that's why I ran and got a coffee because we are out of coffee i usually make my coffee at home but we are out and yeah so i had to go get a coffee before i could get anything done so now we are going to get breakfast going it is currently 8 a.m so this is what we got this is my breakfast and this is freya's um, I usually try to eat eggs every morning, um, you know, just for baby purposes and like some kind of fruit and bagels have been like my go-to. Freya just loves fruit, so. <laughs> Always goes for the fruit first. Mornings this pregnancy have been kind of rough because I'm not normally a breakfast person. Um, I'm usually like a coffee person, like I'll start drinking coffee in the morning and maybe have like a small snack throughout the day, but then I'm just eating dinner. 
Um, I usually just like coffee, coffee, coffee all day and then dinner. But obviously I'm pregnant, I cannot do that. I can't do the coffee all day. And also you have to eat. So um, yeah, I've gained plenty of weight. <laughs> um, so yeah, but it's just been rough. It's been a transition this pregnancy for sure. And like I'm only 28, but I can definitely feel that my body is like aging <laughs> with each pregnancy. Um, I'm just like way more tired this pregnancy. I don't know how to respond to that. Anyways, I'm just like way more tired this pregnancy. I'm just exhausted all the time, all the time. And I'm on my feet all day. Today, we just have someone coming to fix the windshield of our car because it cracked. Hopefully we get to go pick up our new car. We're getting a bigger car. We have a Camry now. We're gonna get a 4Runner. Um, and Riley will be working from home. So we only need one car. He got promoted to remote work. And that's another reason why we're moving back to Oregon. All of our friends are, and family are there. So it just feels like the right move to make right now. And also I'm having another baby. I'm gonna want my family support. I'm the oldest of five sisters. So um, yeah, I almost forgot that I have another baby sister. I almost said four. I really would like to be near my sisters and everything when I'm going through my postpartum. So we are moving back to Oregon back into our house. We've had some friends renting it out for the last couple of years while we've been out here in Arizona and they've been amazing tenants taking care of the place while we're here. We're excited to be back in the house, that's for sure. I think while Freya is finishing her breakfast, I'm just gonna come in my room and fold some laundry because it's been a little neglected, so. Let's have a party under a pool under the pool. So this is where I fold my laundry. I'm just like on my bed. Um, our bed is on the floor because we have a really nice bed frame in Oregon and the plan has always been to move back to Oregon. So why would we buy another bed frame, you know? Not gonna lie, it's kind of clutch though, like especially with like this pregnancy and stuff. There's no like um, creaking. <laughs> Here's to laundry. I usually just like set up my pregnancy pillow and then like fill it up. And right now I'm gonna put on a Farmer Wants Wife on um, the computer while I fold my laundry. Laundry time is my show time. To, I guess my mom just, I said going out Oregon, my bed's on the floor too. Yeah. Enough of the jibber jabber. Do you have laundry you need to do? Get it done with me. Drink your coffee, yeah. get your laundry done. Does anyone else have like a major problem with fucking dog hair on everything? Oh my God, I could die because of how much dog hair is all over my stuff. I cannot stand it. it doesn't even matter if we brush her, bathe her, groom her, she's still gonna shed on everything. It's just everywhere. We find it in our butt cracks, in our food. If I didn't have this lid on, it would be in my coffee. And I've gotten to the point where I just like drink my coffee even if I see dog hair in it because like I'm too tired to fish the dog hair out. Does anyone understand what I'm going through? So Riley just called me and gave me good news that we get to go pick up our new floor runner this evening. So I'm super excited for that. I'm just so excited to have like a bigger car, more space, third row, sunroof, all of it. Like I'm just ready. Camry's been great. She's been great. I'm with baby number three on the way and we just need more room. Truthfully y'all, I don't think I'm gonna be making it out of my sleep shirt today. I think this is just like What it's gonna be However, I did do my skincare this morning and wash my face and like do the whole nine yards and I threw some earrings on because I feel like Feeling poopy throw on some poopies, you know, I like live by that. So I already finished doing the laundry 
Uh, I'm gonna throw some chicken in marinade for dinner tonight and then I'm gonna do the dishes and then I'm gonna make me and Frey lunch because now it is 11.20. I'm waiting for the guys to get here to fix the windshield. Um, maintenance already came by to fix our AC. That was the other thing that I needed to do today. I don't even know if I said that, but yeah, our AC has like not been blowing out cold enough air and we live in Arizona where it's like well over 100 degrees, even at night. So, um, not me out of breath. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they came and fixed the AC. It was a super easy fix. Now we're just waiting for the guys to come and do the windshield then that will be good. And I think we have someone coming to buy the Camry tomorrow. So we get to pick up our new car tonight and then we're selling our Camry tomorrow. So it's all working out pretty well, thank the Lord. So let's get some chicken and marinade, dishes going, and then lunch. I'm actually gonna do Freya's lunch first so that she can be a little preoccupied and busy while I get the other things done. And today I think she just wants top ramen and some fruit. So that's what she's gonna do for lunch. I mean, it's not the most nutritious thing in the world to eat for lunch, but we're gonna keep it real. And she loves noodles, so just like top ramen, chicken top ramen. Who doesn't love that? We got this like noodle cooker off of Amazon and it is like so easy. Um, you literally just put the top ramen in with some water and put it in the microwave for like two to three minutes. And the noodles come out perfectly every single time. They're not too soggy. They're not undercooked. They're just like perfect every single time. And we are huge fans of ramen in this house. So, I mean, like they're literally perfect every single time. I'm not trying to be aesthetically pleasing for everybody on here. I'm sick of seeing like content from people that like everything, their, their life just looks so perfect. And I'm like, Y'all, that shit ain't real. It's just not real. Like, life is messy and sometimes you eat top ramen and it is what the fuck it is. All right, so we have some chicken thighs. They look really disgusting, <laughs> but they're marinating, all right? So we have sesame oil, Japanese barbecue sauce, um, the Kinders, if you haven't had it, oh my God, amazing. I recommend getting it from Costco because it's like way cheaper and you get like two of them for like less than the price of one at like any other store. But anyways, Kinders Japanese barbecue sauce, sesame oil, um, soy sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, red chili flake. I'm just gonna let these babies sit in the fridge till dinner time and then I'll throw them on the cast iron and serve them over, serve the chicken over some rice with some more sauce. Easiest dinner ever and good every single time. And I'll probably like throw some veggies in there. We'll see what happens. Now let's get these dishes done because I can't make dinner or any meal if my dishes aren't done. I think it's OCD but undiagnosed. I'm diagnosing myself. I'm pretty sure I have OCD, but that's the conversation for a different day, so. I've got a bone to pick with Starbucks. Um, so Riley is always getting me like Starbucks mugs and stuff like that. And I've had so many of them break on me like just start cracking or like shatter for like no reason i just don't understand like these are so expensive why are they breaking on me like why are they shattering why do i have dollar tree mugs that have lasted me literal years and starbucks mugs are just breaking all the time and it literally says that they're dishwasher safe so like starbucks what's the deal get your shit together thank you very much mom I had to show you guys this mug that Brayden got Riley for Father's Day. It says, even though I'm not from your sack, I know you still have my back, Brayden. <laughs> I thought that was so funny, but he was so excited to get it for us.
All right, y'all, we are clean. Now that I'm sweating bullets, um, I'm gonna sit down and relax and read a book or read some of my book, start my book. I've been awful at reading lately, um, this whole pregnancy actually. I just, anytime I sit down to read a book, I just like doze off and get tired. Like it just does not work. Um, so I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna try to start this book that I've been wanting to start. This one does go in the dirt, yeah. Does this one go in the dirt too? Just got home. Look at this beauty. Out with the old, in with the new. Hi y'all, it is the next morning. Um, so after we got home from picking up our new car, we just ended up going to bed. Like, I was just so tired, I forgot to film my outro, blah, blah, blah. Ended up doing my nails last night, or yesterday. And I had some free time, just did like this dark red. I love it, um, looks like blood. <laughs> I just wanted to hop on here and say thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, thank you for continuing to show my channel support even though I am awful at consistently posting but I still appreciate it so much but yeah oh and I wanted to give you guys a better look at my bump because I was wearing a big t-shirt yesterday but now like I'm letting her out today she's definitely I'm carrying her a lot higher I feel like than I did my other babies but oh there's another door this is her. This is baby girl. She's in here. I'm very large, very in charge, and I'm barely um, gonna be 26 weeks. So I don't know if that means another big baby. We shall see. Um, I can film more of these like vloggy style videos because I feel like they're just easier for me. They're more practical. You know, I can just like set my phone up and do what I do every single day. I'm just kind of bullshit and talk to you guys. So super practical and easy. So I plan on doing these a lot more and um, yeah. So thank you for watching and love you guys. See you in my next video.